Ah, yes, it's Marlon Brando coming this way. Let's see if I can get him to stop and chat for a minute. Marlon! Marlon! Hello, Walter. How are you? I'm very well. A little warm, thanks. How are you? I'm fine. Now, what are you decked out to be, a Martian? What is all this nonsense <laughs> you... Well, uh, as, as I told, uh, I think it was Sam Golden uh, a few minutes ago, that I'm making my debut as an interviewer. Excuse so, me, do uh, you have a match? <laughs> I have a match right here, yes. Uh, BBC uh, uh, asked Thank me you. in as much as uh, MGM are going to release Guys and Dolls, as you may or may not know. And as I'm an old MGMer, they asked me if I would like to do uh, the interviewing of all you people who've had something to do with this picture. So I'm running oh. around with my little microphone and hoping that you may have a little time, that you're not too busy, and uh, we could chat for a few minutes. What about it? Sure. You... Do you want to do it here, or should we uh, abscond to my dressing room? I got to... I want to take this nonsense off my face. Well, I think it might be a little more comfortable. It's a little warm out here anyway, isn't what it? What about your uh, technical equipment? Can you accommodate? Yes, if you've got a spot in there where, the, where you plug your uh, electric razor Is in. Is that I, all? Yeah. Yeah, all sure. right. Let's go then. Okay. <clears throat> might have a sandwich if you're... Uh... Sure. What? Uh, Larry, go get some sandwiches for Walter and I. What would you like? Oh, anything at all. I don't care. Just to... Uh... I'll get bacon egg or something like that. Uh, Marlon, uh, uh, the great mystery, of, particularly around the lot here, and not only around the lot, but as near as I can make out in the whole industry, uh, is your uh, is your uh, singing voice. I, I, for instance, I've asked Sam Goldwyn uh, if there's any chance of hearing it, and he said, no, 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 we're saving this for the opening of the picture. You'll hear him one day, and so on. And I said, what about him? He said, it's none of your business. So I thought maybe I might get uh, some slant on... Uh, on your voice from you. Uh, it, it's definitely, there's no, uh, no question about it, it's one of the big mysteries of the, uh, of the industry today. Well, I've heard some of the playbacks, and uh, uh, there's a certain resemblance between uh, musicality and uh, uh, my voice, which is sadly lacking. But uh, I think that I made enough takes so that it... Uh, it will jive, and they'll be able to put something together. But actually, I think that uh, that it's not so important to be able to sing well as perform the song, because essentially it's a it's a a song that is that comes out of a dramatic situation, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, the manner in which the song is delivered, I think, becomes uh, more important than uh, than the actual singing itself. Although, you know, if you hit a clinker naturally, uh, it's going to uh, lead the audience down the garden path for a In other few words, minutes. you can't go flat on, on an A-flat, I don't suppose, and get away with it. Nobody could do that, could no. they? Uh, I hate to labor it. Anyhow, I feel that I can sing adequately enough, but it's nothing that's going to startle the, uh, the ears off the listeners. <laughs> um, tell me, uh, uh, this Guys and Dolls is a far cry from the roles which, uh, which you're generally associated with. Do, do you um, like doing musical comedy? Well, I must say, I think that the... Uh, I've never been happier really working uh, than I am now. It's, in the first place, it's... There are an awful lot of young people. There's a lot of verve and interest and activity and enthusiasm. And uh, there's a lightness that uh, prevails. And uh, it's it's so pleasant to come to the set and make a joke or two and and not have to bury your head in a pillow and think of tragic circumstances that make you act well and keep you in the mood. And uh, I haven't had to bat anybody across the face with a dead mackerel. And uh, it's been an awful lot of fun and very light and and it sort of a... Well, it's a busman's holiday. Yeah, of course, you, you speaking of fun, I'll never forget the first time I, I ever saw you was on the, uh, on the stage in... Um, um, MGM? Uh, no, no, not at MGM. Well, that was afterwards when you're walking around the lot in the uh, nightshirt for Julius Caesar. But the first time, the, the, the play that I saw you on, uh, the, uh, the um, streetcar? streetcar named Desire. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm referring to now is you say a lot of fun. Uh, as an actor sitting there watching you, I just had the feeling that this guy is just having an awful lot of fun with this role. It wasn't a fun role. I don't mean it that way. Uh, now you say that, th that you had fun doing this thing. 
Uh, don't you get great enjoyment out of, uh, out of every role that you do do, whether it's a tragic role or a heavy role or, or, or what? Well, I actually know. I, I don't think so. You don't, huh? Uh, because if you're playing a heavy, serious part, you have to kind of keep yourself enshrouded in the, the mood that is necessary for uh, the, what you're shooting. And uh, uh, you really can't get too far away from your part or get out of the mood. And you always kind of have to linger around the perifer periphery of uh, whatever you're playing, the mood. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's tedious work. I must say that, that there... Uh, I get satisfaction after the thing is over if I felt yes. that I've accomplished what I wanted to. And, yes, I see. But it's a, it's a something. It's a kind of postponed satisfaction, so to speak. But the in the actual, for instance, in Waterfront, I was never more miserable in my life and never more surprised with the results, uh, rather right. the acceptance. It was so cold and so miserable, and we worked so so long that all I could think about was, my Lord, can't won't this thing ever end? And, uh, you know, that might, that perhaps might have contributed to uh, the fact that I didn't have enough energy to act, and I just really sort of yeah. said what I had to say. Simply yeah. as Tell me, uh, what, um, uh, on what basis do you uh, uh, sort of uh, determine what uh, picture or what type of role that you'd like to do? Or is that too complicated a question? Well, I don't think so. I, vaguely, it's determined by the the uh, dramatic stature of the character uh, taken in itself and also in relation to the other parts around it, also to the piece itself, and uh, with some regard to what I have played before and with regard to uh, a variety. I, I always have tried to make it a point to play things that were different so that I shouldn't uh, become so, types. Of yes. It. Yeah. Um, is is there uh, any particular type of role that you, that you have in mind now that you that you feel that uh, that you'd like to do following uh, Guys and Dolls, or have you got such a, a good taste in musical comedy that you feel you'd like to follow it up with another one, or do you want to go? I think perhaps another time I would like to play uh, another time musical comedy, but uh, I have in mind uh, a uh, a cowboy story. Uh, I would like to take a whack at that, take a bash at it, as Gene always says. Yes, a good Western. Yes. Uh, well, there is our uh, lad. I just see him come in with the sandwiches, and I know that uh, that you're hungry and want something to eat. Put him over here, Larry. So. Uh, all right, that's all right, right there. And you probably, if you're anything like me, that when you've got an hour or so off, you'd like to lie down and take it easy. So I'll grab this sandwich and. Uh, chew it on my uh, way out and tell you how very much, Marlon, I uh, appreciate your giving me a little time. I, I feel a little guilty coming in in a rest period and butting in on you like this, but you were awfully nice to uh, give me this time. Well, thanks, Walter. It was certainly a pleasure to see you again. And uh, You're uh, coming over our way fairly soon, I think, aren't you? You're going to do, uh, I think I understood that you're going to do the... Uh, uh, tea House of the August Moon for us, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. So we'll sit down then one day, and uh, I'll buy the lunch this time. All right, 